Hi, welcome to RoboJax. In this video, I'm going to show you how we can use this HCSR04 ultrasonic distance meter with this OLED display to display the uh, values without any computer. I have two videos, one separately for this ultrasonic sensor, another video for this uh, OLED display. Uh, the code are provided with the video separately at the description and also I'm going to create a combined code that makes this work will be also provided. You can click at the description or you can just visit directly at robojax.com slash learn slash Arduino. So let me get started with explaining this one briefly and also explaining this one briefly separately and then I will combine it and show you how you can connect and use them together. We have VCC and we have ground, the two pen. The other pens are SCL and SDA. That S, S is the signal, CL is the clock, clock, and then SDA, that's the data. So for this is connected to A4 and clock is connected to A5 if you are using this Arduino. Okay, so there is no pen for SDA and SCL, so you will connect it to A4 and A5 here. But if you are using an Arduino that has SCL and SDA pen, you can connect it directly from the module to SDA and SCL. So the time that it, the signal leaves here and the time that it arrives will be calculated, and because we know the speed of sound, we can calculate and see how far it traveled. So it has two, uh, four pens. So we have VCC, which is connected to five volts, and we have ground, which is connected to the ground or zero volt of Arduino. Then we have two more pens, trigger and echo. So there, this is trigger and this, this is echo and this is trigger. So I've connected the trigger, the trigger pen, which is blue to pen 12, and then echo pen green to the pen 11. And then we have ground yellow is connected to the ground here. And then the, the VCC here, the red is connected to the five volts. So this is the first step. I have a separate video that shows how you can use the SSD 1306 display. And with the code you can download. For the ultrasonic distance meter also, I have a separate video and you can come and get the library. So you will get the library either from here. So the library will be provided on our website robojax.com slash learn slash Arduino. Also the link will be provided to this page at GitHub. So once you land it in this page, just click on download, click download and get it. So I'm saving it in my download and Arduino. So existing doesn't matter. So go to the where you download it this is i've downloaded right click go to 7zip 7zip is a free software you can get it from 7zip.org website and then select extract here once you do that you will have a folder like this adafruit ssd1306 master then we need to copy this into our arduino uh, library right click copy it and then go to wherever you have uh, Arduino is installed. In some cases, you might be looking at here, program files, or wherever you have that. So once you go to the installed folder, in my case, it's here. And so you will see something like this. This is a program that you run the .exe, and then look at the library, and somewhere here, right click, and then paste it. Once you paste, you will see it here. This is done. Just click find uh, file example and then scroll down and you'll see new ping. When you go to the new ping, ping and then from here we have multiple examples. New ping example, new ping sensor. So click on new ping example. So this is the header, the main file that once you download the library, this will be included. 
So the trigger pin uh, from the module, we have trigger pin, which I'm going to show you again. So you will connect the 12 here, and then echo pin will be connected to 11. The maximum, dis maximum distance that you will be working, just put it here. And according to this documentation here, it says 400 to 500 centimeter. So you can enter anything between those ranges. And after that, we are just uh, from this constructor, we are just putting all those, passing the value, the pen, the echo pen, and the maximum distance, and then it will just initiate that. Inside the setup, we have only this uh, value for the serial monitor. So we will set our serial monitor at this rate so it, it can print the value on the screen. After that, here it says a delay 50, that's 50 milliseconds, and here it says 50 milliseconds, which is about 20 times a second. And here is the important thing, it says you, you should not go lower than this. So 29 is the shortest one. So that was 50, so you can go up to 30 or 29. This just prints the word ping on the screen. And this is the method that calls the measurement in centimeter. And then this just prints the centimeter CM, at the, so it will be printed as one text. The print, and these two lines are print, and this is LN or new line, so this will create a new line. So every time it measures, all these three values will be printed in one line. Make sure you select your port. So I'm connected to the port four. So now it's connected and now I'm just uploading it. My hand, as you can see, it shows 10 centimeter, 9 centimeter. So it's very precise. So here is the combined code for the ultrasonic sensor and the SSD 130X uh, OLED display. So this is the beginning of OLED display. The wire is needed for the I2S display and uh, this is for drawing some graphics. This is the original code that does the uh, printing of text and graphics on the screen. And you do not touch any of these. This is the size of the display, which is 124. The width is 124. The height is 64. And then you do not touch it. So this is end of display. And now this is the ultrasonic sensor that's it's a ping pen 11 pen 12 is defined here that is the maximum distance that you set so it doesn't have to bother for higher calculation this can go up to four or five hundred so this is the important part that you must have it for the uh, ultrasonic sensor so inside the loop this is for the from the ultrasonic sensor nothing has changed the exact same thing because this is printing it on the serial monitor which doesn't matter because when you have the display and this is this code is this portion for the display so this clears this display because this is loop and the previous item that was printed will be deleted or cleared and this line it says robojax text which is another method which i'm at the bottom i'm going to explain it next it prints the word distance on the screen. This word starting from X3 and then Y0. So, and so this is the size. False is a method that sometimes you need to do not print anything else and just end it. So don't worry, false just w works fine. And then we take the distance a centimeter, convert it to a string, and store it in another string called distance. 
so because this is integer we have to convert it first so we are converting it to string and then storing it in distance and again in the next method we say reject text and then we pass the distance here and then concatenate or add the centimeter to the text and that centimeter is the centimeter that is just after the text and then it's, it starts from x equal 3 and then y is 20 so that's a 20 uh, pixels down and the size is 3 so this is printing that value so this is the actual measurement distance and then we say display once we say display all of this will be displayed so this robojax text is a method that does so many things and makes our life easy so i wrote it here i put some explanation but for simplification so you, if you want to know that these are all the steps size needs one line color needs another line x and y text and i put them as parameters that is required so if you don't touch it it automatically will work for any text that you provide as a string so when you run it and you will get this error this is referring to the location that the other fruit dot h this file it says multiple because i've added before i got that error so in case if you're getting that error so it says used this one and not use this one the one that i had is not used so inside the arduino inside the library and other fruit master there is a file so inside my documents libraries and here it says add a fruit so it has been added here now the f the error is inside this one so just on h right click edit i have uh, notepad plus plus so i can edit it easily here so scroll down around line e 70 you see 73 this is the value which is uncommon so this is commented so uncomment which means remove the comment and this one is 128 by 32 comment this one out so and then save it once you save you are done come here and upload the code So if your serial monitor doesn't show the values come here and you see this is set as 9600 just go here and change it to 9600 and any value that is shown will be displayed here So the code will be provided by clicking at the link at the description or you can go directly to robojax.com slash learn slash Arduino. Thank you for watching. Please thumb up the video. Please share it and also please subscribe so I can inform you of my upcoming videos. I appreciate it.